Vitamin D for the prevention of osteoporosis and cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You're probably aware of recent research that shows that vitamin D is important in preventing cancer and also in the prevention of osteoporosis. What are the functions of vitamin D? Well, vitamin D actually helps the body absorb more calcium and phosphorus from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. But it has other roles too. It also helps as new cells are emerging and coming, or developed from older cells. As new cells emerge, they have to fully mature into adult cells. Vitamin D helps cells mature. We call this cellular differentiation. And the more mature cells become, the, the more resistant they are to becoming cancer cells. And this is one of the ways that vitamin D reduces risk of cancer. It also slows down the rate at which cells divide, which reduces risk of cancer. Vitamin D also acts directly on bone. When, if blood levels of calcium drop, vitamin D works with parathyroid hormone to actually bring calcium out of bone to bring the blood calcium back uh, into the normal range. And vitamin D has really important effects on the body's immune system. We think maybe that's one of the ways that it's, uh, it's been shown to reduce risk not only of cancer but also multiple sclerosis. So we see there's a number of supplementation studies now with vitamin D. Uh, not just to prevent osteoporosis, but a, a recent study showed that 1,400 IUs of vitamin D a day, along with 1,500 milligrams of calcium, was able to actually reverse osteoporosis and bring an increased bone density back into the normal range for people who already had some fractures and had already lost significant amounts of, amounts of bone. So th that's remarkable. So understanding that specific doses of vitamin D and calcium together can help to bring calcium uh, or bone density back if you've lost some is something we've learned only in recent years. So those kind of dosages are vital to know about. And there have been some recent studies where people who had cancer had used high doses of vitamin D to help improve the overall management of the cancer. And so we're seeing vitamin D now being used as an adjunct and nutritional uh, agent in the management of cancers where the cancer cell still has vitamin D receptors. This is very common, for instance, in breast cancer and prostate cancer and colon cancer. So what I'd suggest you do is click on the link, read my review article on vitamin D. It'll give you just the basics about vitamin D, you know, how, how it gets absorbed, how it functions, what your general nutritional status should be, what drugs deplete vitamin D. But if you, once you get to machinohealth.com, you'll be able to see other articles I've written on vitamin D and the subject of cancer in particular and vitamin D on osteoporosis. These are separate articles that are on that site that I think everybody should see. So you really should visit machinohealth.com uh, because you'll see my research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, uh, you'll see other resources, uh, downloads, other videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll see you're getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.